I think you'll be surprised by just how advanced the Byzantines were, especially mm. um, especially in areas like medicine. Okay, so let's start there then. Most people, when they think of medieval medicine, probably picture something, well, pretty primitive. But the sources you shared with me paint a very different picture of, well, Byzantine healthcare. That's true. Byzantine medicine was, well, it was a fascinating blend of influences. They drew heavily on the knowledge of ancient Greece and Rome, of course, but they also incorporated ideas from the East, creating this, well, this unique system that was surprisingly sophisticated for its time. So they weren't just copying the ancients. They were like adding their own twists. Exactly. And we can see this in texts like the Vienna Dioscorides. It's a beautiful manuscript uh, from the 6th century. Essentially, it's an encyclopedia of medicinal plants wow. filled with, you know, detailed illustrations and descriptions of their uses. That sounds pretty impressive for the time period. Yeah. What kind of things would they have been using these plants for? Oh, all sorts of things. From treating, you know, common ailments to more complex surgical procedures. They use herbal remedies for pain relief, uh, wound healing, even digestion of issues, and they were surprisingly knowledgeable about the properties of different plants, that is. So it wasn't just guesswork. They had, like, a real understanding of how these things worked. To a degree, yes. Um, they were still working within the limits of their time, obviously, but they were making careful observations and um, and passing down that knowledge through, you know, generations. And what's really interesting is that their approach to healthcare went beyond just treating illness. Oh. Tell me more about that. Well, Byzantine hospitals, for example, they emphasize preventative care and spiritual well-being alongside medical treatment. 